Hello everybody and welcome to my first tutorial series on my YouTube channel and today I will be teaching you how to program in the new and very 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 awesome programming language Ruby. Ruby is very useful for everything, game development, websites, etc, 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 computer administration, loads of things. But if you want to do web design with Ruby, you should learn this and then learn Ruby and Rails. I don't know if I'll be teaching that because right now I don't know it, but I might learn it in the future. And if I do, then I'll probably make a tutorial on it. But right now, all you're getting is Ruby. And Ruby is awesome. As I would say, awesome sauce.exe. And to write Ruby code, because Ruby is a programming language, uh, you're going to first of all need to get uh, the Ruby programming language, because uh, most of the time it doesn't come built into your computer. On Mac, it does come built into your computer, and on Mac, if you want to do interactive Ruby, like if you want to just write Ruby code instantly just to make sure you have it installed, type IRB, which stands for interactive Ruby, and if you get this, then Ruby's working. And also, as another test, type in this. And if this happens, then you're good to go. But on Windows, I don't think you'll have this, so what you want to do is go to Google and type in Ruby. And then click the first link, Ruby Programming Language. You take it here, rubylang.org. And then you should go to this page, click Downloads. So you guys install on Ruby, just scroll down and get this one or this one. It all depends on what you want. Don't get this one. Uh, get this one or this one. Or maybe even this one, but I'm, I've never used this one. I use this one. Like, whenever I have Windows, I use this one. So, either get this one or this one. You probably get this one because it's the newest. And then what you're going to want to do is, once you have Ruby installed, you can use this. But I won't be using Interactive Ruby. Which is what this is. This is like an interactive way to type Ruby code. So you can use what this is called an interpreter. So you can either use the interpreter or you can get a thing called an IDE. Uh, an IDE stands for Integrated Developer Environment, which lets you build, run, debug code, etc. 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 It's basically a place to run your code. Or you get a text editor and write your code and then edit it. Or you can just edit code but you can't run it. And the ones for Mac are TextMate. This is one right, this is a very good one, TextMate. Then there is a Text Wrangler. And there's BB Edit. This is all for Mac. And that's. Oh, and there's a Text Elastic. That's a paid one. For Windows, you can get Notepad++. Um, for Linux, you can get uh, Genie. And for all platforms, you can get Sublime Text too. You can get Genie on Mac if you want to do it. Like if you want to install it from command line, but you'll need Mac ports, which I might do a tutorial on how to get. Uh, you can get gedit. Um, that's all the ones I really know of. But the one I'm going to be using in this tutorial, and I really recommend it, is Sublime Text. So just Google a Ruby IDE. Hold on, this is from my tests. So go into your IDE, or your text editor, I, keep, I call it an IDE. Well, Sublime Text actually kind of is an IDE, because you can run code, tools, build. But it won't take input. Don't worry about all this for now. Just open up your text editor and uh, make a new file and save it as file name. I'm going to call mine uh, tutorial1.rb. RB is the extension for Ruby files. You need to save this. You need, 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 need to save your files as .rb. This can be anything you like. It could be. Um, Michael Rosen dot RB or anything anything dot RB anything dot RB I'll save it as that. Um 
And then once you have this, you can write your code. Another thing to note is you can write Ruby code in uh, Notepad or in TextEdit or uh, Midori Word or Leafpad or whatever, whatever. Uh, but I don't. If you're gonna do that, I don't recommend Microsoft Word. But above all, I recommend an IDE or an IDE slash text editor for code, and I'll you'll see why in a second. Uh, so if I type in, um, like if I put in this, notice how it highlights it. If you type it in a word pad or something like that, you won't get this highlighting thing. It won't be highlighted. And a lot of people, including myself, like this. It's very handy. So you're going to want to do is type in puts, or put s, which means put string. Now this means, uh, I'll explain this after I type the code. So what this means is, Ruby, put whatever we type in here. You, you better listen, Ruby. Whatever we type in, in here, you better put it into the screen or I will come to your house and I will destroy your face. And then Ruby's like, chill, chill, bro, chill. Come on, calm down, calm down. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Please, please don't hurt me or my family. And then we're like, good. And then we type in here whatever we want to be printed to the screen, like, lol, lol. Uh, Michael Rosenbrock. And this, as you'll see in a second, print out in the screen. So put, put S, or puts, I will be referring to it as puts, even though it's put S. Uh, kill me. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, put S means put this onto the screen. So what does put S mean? Like in detail, put S means put string. So str a string is a string of characters. If you, if you don't know, this is a character. Uh, this is a character, and these are characters. But it doesn't include these the exclamation marks. So put string, so this is a string, so it means put this string onto the screen. And then you can do numbers. For numbers you don't need uh, the exclamation marks. Uh, you can just put in numbers. And if you've programmed in Lua before, it doesn't change the string into numbers. And um, I don't know why. So this means so put string. You can still put numbers right into the screen, and to run it, you can either go into your command prompt. Hold on. Uh, you can either go into command prompt, or you can go into terminal, or whatever you have, and type in Ruby. Or you want to change directory. This means go to the place where the file is. So where did you save it? I saved mine on my desktop. And then you type in Ruby, and then the file name. What did you call the file? I call mine anything. Dot R B. And this prints this out. It prints it out. Now, even though ten right here isn't a number, or is the string, and put s means put string, it still prints it out. And that's just a handy feature. So that was. Like your first Ruby tutorial again, put s means put the string onto the screen. Anything between quotation or quotation marks is a string. You can also do single quotation marks as well if you really want to. Um, so you can put single quotation marks and it'll still be a string. There's absolutely no difference. All down to preference. And then put s means put 10, the, the number 10, onto the screen. It just, it, it puts stuff onto the screen. It means put string or put stuff. Think of it as put stuff. Put stuff onto the screen. And I hope you enjoyed your first Ruby tutorial. Um, that's it for now. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, be sure to come back for the next tutorial. I, I, I'll miss you. But please don't go. Please stay.